I think there's, uh, yeah, a couple of things, but at the moment and going forward, I, I think genuine real content is, is the future and it is seeing inside somebody's life. And I think for the wine industry, uh, that represents a huge opportunity because as an industry, we have so many stories to tell, yet we're trying to do perfect marketing and we're trying to show you know, the perfect picture in the vineyards. But actually, it's the stories of people who are making the wine that have the family history that can really show them on the app. So that's certainly a future trend I think is going to do well um, for TikTok. Totally, totally. I also noticed this and it's very interesting and a magical thing that on Instagram, on TikTok, most or probably all of the viral wine related videos that explode are very organic, simple recordings from the wine yard, from the wine cellar. Someone is tasting a wine, showing a wine. It's not edited. It's not professionally shot on, uh, on expensive cameras. It's very interesting that this human connection can uh, get through and all these very well produced marketing uh, uh, content that, as you said, are struggling and don't really get any organic uh, organic views just if they promote it. But this is very interesting. What do you think? How, how can this uh, work? How can this human connection uh, be felt through a video? Well, I think the, you know, who's consuming these videos? Um, there's a very smart audience out there and they can see through a marketing campaign that's been uh, thought up rather than actually seeing somebody holding a camera and yes, they could um, do anything at any point. So that's more entertaining and more interesting. And, you know, for the actual producer, what that means is you don't have to spend a lot <laughs> to get that going and you can, you don't have to spend a lot of time and it's just about volume and just about following your journey. So it's a great philosophy, um, not so much for marketing agencies, maybe, <laughs> because it exactly. takes it out of the house. Yeah, but um, and it's different industries that want different things. And, you know, wine is a rustic product and um, it needs it needs that footage. Of course, of course. And there are a lot of opportunities for wineries to shoot these videos, these behind the scenes from the vineyard to the to the technology, to the uh, grapes and the cellar works. There is lots of stories to tell and lots of interesting things to show. And I think this is this uh, helps to uh, level the field. And this is a way to engage and to reach more people for uh, for smaller wineries as well. So the entry uh, level is a lot easier and uh, it's not about the huge uh, marketing budgets anymore. Absolutely. And um, I've recently done some work here in the UK with a couple of um, merchants, but one in particular, I won't name who they are, but uh, they have been struggling marketing wise and I help them do a video and it's in the past week got 200,000 views and they don't have enough of the products anymore. <laughs> so it just wow. shows, and it's a 15 second long video. Um, and it just shows still there is huge potential if you, if you get the right story, uh, but if you present it in the right way and there's no loss, you know, post, post 20, post 20 videos, 19 may bomb, but, uh, you just need the one to, to go. And, uh, yeah, that would be my advice to anyone who's thinking about thinking about getting on TikTok. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.